would you say to somebody about doing this work? Mm. Mm. Dive in, do it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just, you know, just try it. Just so try it scary once. to try it, and even when you're doing it, it's kind of scary. But then afterwards, what a relief, right? <laughs> yeah. And take, it really is. You take a pill, it takes 20 minutes for it to work. It still doesn't do anything for you to resolve any situation. But you do this, and within 10 minutes, you can resolve more than any medication ever yeah. would, and certainly more than any counseling does in yeah. a stretched that amount of time. time. Yeah. yeah. I have yeah. clients that say one hour of EFT equals 100 hours of talk yeah. therapy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tell people that all the time, too. It really is. And, you know, for me, it's not a struggle to talk to you about it, and my close friends all know that I love to do eat, you know, that I am a big proponent of this. But there are people out there that do sort of have a hesitation, and I would say to those people, just forget what you think it is, because it's not that. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> Until you try it, really, you won't know. And, and it is it is such a helpful thing for the human psyche and body just to be able to go through this, these steps, that it's a healing process. It really is. I just, as you were saying that, I have this visualization of standing on the edge of a cliff and being confident enough that you put your arms out and then you feel the breeze come up yeah. against you. And right. It's okay. You can close your eyes and you forget that you're that maybe far up off the ground and what it would be like to fall and then all of a sudden you're just standing there free will like there. Light. <clears throat> That's what I love every time I get done with you. I feel light. Yes. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's so true when you say emotional freedom. Every time I do the deep breath I feel I'm releasing something. Mm -hmm. There's something that I am not carrying any longer because that deep breath just cleansed me and I released something, an emotion that was attached that I carried for so long, baggage that I didn't need to carry. Mm -hmm. And just like you had mentioned, um, many years of different counseling and all of that, you read your, you know, you, you have to talk about the situation and you're feeling like you're right back into that situation, not feeling healed, but we just tap on the emotion. Where is it feeling in your body? And you can actually physically feel right away that there's some changes happening. It's tangible. It's not like, okay, mm -hmm. I got to journal this out. It, there is homework, but the homework kind of happens in your body right away. It's just, Beautiful. Thank it's, you. it's so Thank physical. You know. um, and it's so just tangible for us to just feel. And I feel like every time I take a deep breath, I'm releasing something. I'm not carrying something that I was preconceived to go ahead and say this is, for me, struggle is like, I feel like I'm accomplishing something. And I just get changed every time. I can walk lighter. I'm free. Just like what you have told me, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're going to go. <laughs> I love this so much. And thank you so much for sharing that, because that's exactly, that's exactly how I feel about it. And then let's touch on tools, because you always say, this is something that's been so valuable for me, um, still having to deal with an alcoholic ex-husband with my kids, is having that acknowledgement of, I now have a whole new toolbox because I worked with you. And it helps me when I'm having to deal with my kids to say, you know what, your dad doesn't have those tools. So let's learn these tools and let's teach your dad in a roundabout way how we can use these tools and then how we can benefit from them from ourselves without getting damaged in the process. And look at yes. we're we're breaking the patterns of generational mm -hmm. yes. things. And alcoholism is generational. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And we'll wait till next time. I can tell you a lot about the Aces study and why a hundred percent of addicts have wounded inner children, mm -hmm. and that causes health problems and addiction problems and all kinds of things. Well, disease and on and on, and um, it's just it's just powerful. And I was afraid to be an inner child advocate. I was afraid because I thought people would run away because it's scary to do this work. And they talk about you know if I start talking about inner child stuff, and people are like, okay, I'll be seeing you. And and I want to be able to communicate to people that you know if you can go there and be there for your inner child yes. instead of pushing. Um, you know, them away, because that's what we were taught to do. 
So we treat them just like whoever taught us to treat them. Am I saying that right? Um, we got taught to be pushed away, and so we do it to ourselves. Instead of being able to be there for our little scared, lonely um, little girl inside of us. And I, I just want to say one other thing that has been occurring to me, that tapping has really brought light to my life with my kids, <laughs> who are at these impressionable ages. Yes. They really are, I mean, they're five and eight, and they're right now in this time. And it helps me to see their world differently, too. Mm -hmm. So tapping is amazing for, you know, not just myself, but also for other people, too. Um, and I don't know if you can. I'm sure our parents didn't elaborate what they were doing to us. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. At the time. <laughs> no, so yeah. They and never, they never, did. Like they never do. My mom is very intrigued, you know, from a, a mother to mother point of view, um, that she even says, oh my gosh, if I would have known to do that. Yeah. You know, because how many times as moms do we come in as a freight train? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> to help absolutely. your children get past certain issues too, or yeah. to look at the world differently, tapping is a really great tool. There used to be a teddy bear that you looked at. Tappy bear. Tappy bear, yeah. You could help with kids. help with kids. So I would love to continue this conversation forever, <laughs> but we do have to go because